Incredible. Did I miss anything back there? Let me like look back. Guess I didn't. No, cut it. What? You know what? Never mind. Hmm. Another golden gate. And there's a bunch of crap water here. Infinity stone. Oh my god. Platforming. Platforming in this game. So, let me just check if I'm missing anything. I don't think so. Platform spiders, seriously. He is belching out some toxic stuff. Hmm. Hey, look over there, Emmy. Isn't that the Emperor? I'd heard that he was sick in bed, but I never expected him to be the source of that funky mist. Now how are we gonna straighten out this royal oath? I mean, we're still too big to fit through his mosquito net. I'm sure we can climb our way through. Oh, there's also monsters down here. I care about these monsters. Well, I guess I do now. Oh, come on, dude. These real things are pretty annoying. I guess slow time would be a little bit useful. Alright, let's ignore him. Let's just do the platforming. You know, these spiders are actually massive. I don't even noticed. <laughs> but look at the size of the room, look at the size of these spiders. The spiders are actually massive. <laughs> They're bigger than tarantulas. Look at them. They're the size of your head. Oh my god, why is it so fast? No, fire you. Infinity stone, we don't need that.
the platforms have different, like, they have different wait times. So this thing waits for a long time. Whereas this thing doesn't. This thing doesn't wait at all. Every platform has a different timing on it. Uh, wait a minute. Why... Oh, I can't get over there? There's a giant spider swinging around. How big is that thing? Like, this is interesting, but it also doesn't make any sense at all. Uh... Where does this go? Are you serious? I know I'm supposed to slow down time to uh, get past those really fast spiders, but there's no need really. Vengeance slip. Ow. I thought I had more time than that. What? <laughs> There's a tiny, tiny little curve. And, and that looks really bad. Check it out, Abby. The Empress is directly below us. It's like the Royal Oaf's mouth is just begging for us to dive on in. Sure. Are we inside the Emperor's body now? Wow, Emmy, you are one fearless wolf. This should be the fastest way to get to the root of the problem. Hey, what's that funny looking thing there? Oh, I know. It's that dangly thing that hangs down the back of the throat. I bet if we tickled it, this raw oaf would sneeze. That'd be probably our best bet for getting out of here. But let's save that for later. We're gonna go the other way now. I this game just keeps trying real hard to spoon feed the game mechanics to you. There's a save point inside his throat. It this doesn't make any sense, right? <laughs> like why is there a save point inside his throat? I feel like the whole thing is, is falling apart. Like the Everything up until defeating Orochi was just, it's just so good, like it's a complete package. Now it's just completely wacky and weird. Wonder what's in there, I have a feeling we're in for trouble. You're not gonna turn back now, you yeah. No, I literally, I literally said we're going in here. Alright, boss fight. There's a sword. Why, why is there a sword inside his body? No way! This is insane! I know. That mist, it's alive, Emmy. Light, under my control, this body breathes evil mist over the city. And you, Mutt, you dare attempt to clear the skies of my poison. 
Waging battle with me inside a human body will be no easy task. Even now, Goldnail, the mighty sword, cries out for your blood. Come, step forward so that I, the indomitable blight, may cut you down. Kill him. Kill Isun. Na ha ha ha, step forward, alright. You're a real piece of work, Blight. Better say your prayers. You encountered wretch, can you kill Isun for me? Kill him. Be warned, we are in the very bowels of the Emperor. If we fight here, his body will not. Give me a break, a little action here will help him wake up. But never mind that, you are the one behind that poison mist. Possessing a human body may be an elaborate trick, but it ends now. With my supreme blade Denkumaru, I, the Magnificent Isun, show. Rend that hunk of junk you call a sword. No, let him, let him go, let him go. Let him go. I want him to die. Alright, Isun, go. Wow, you suck. Wait, we fight the sword? The sword goes into his body. And then we we slow him and we what? No, attack, attack, attack him. I uh, do we have to blow with a blow him first? I kinda get it. Let me get some ink back. Whoa! Really? He sp he's that fast? It's not that complicated. Oh, I can hit him with these, I see. I can hit him when he's doing that, right. The divine instrument exorcism beads, purifying rosary that contains the power of holy light. Blight, a disease residing within the Empress body and born of the intense hatred and evil of the cursed sword Goldnail, was the source of the acrid mist that had plagued the capital's citizenry. But even a creature so despicable and full of hatred was no match for our intrepid heroes, Amaterasu. 
Blight's defeat brought with it a lifting of the acrid fog. The Emperor, now freed of evil's influence, returned to normal. Amaterasu and the others had earned a brief moment of respite. However, evil conspired to cut the tranquil scene short. From Goldnail's defeated form rose the familiar blackness. The spirit of evil and hatred that had resided within the sword, black as midnight and deep as the sea, rose slowly skyward. Make no mistake, this was undoubtedly one of the foul spirits that dispersed from Orochi's broken body. Quickly and steadily it rose, then it shot off towards the distant sea and over the horizon. It moved with purpose as if to a rendezvous with a lost friend. Amaterasu and the others had no time to rest. If they were truly to restore the capital to its normal routine, they still had to deal with the threat of the water dragon. This tale is far from over, dot dot dot. Hey you, aren't you forgetting something? You had it coming big time, gas bag. You aren't even in the same league as the magnificent... Well, Furball, that's that. How about one of those victory howls? Oh wait, I almost forgot. That babe Kaguya is still locked up. Emmy, seems Pops is still snoozing away. How about we just take control and make him unlock her cell? Why bother with waking him up to explain everything, anyway? Ha, ah, you don't get it, do ya? Watch and learn, my furry friend. Why would you do that? First, I'll stir up his stomach, like this, and then... Why do we put up with this idiot? Dot dot dot. What the? Hey, are you okay, Amy? Looks like we managed to make the Emperor stand up. Come on, we gotta get this royal oaf moving. Let's get him over to where they're holding Kaguya. Why? Why? Why do we do this? Your Highness, you are well enough to walk around again. That Kaguya girl was in prison just as you ordered, sire. But she's done no wrong, so I can't understand why. Uh, um, not that I'm doubting your bountiful wisdom, Your Highness. This seems unnecessary. Your Highness, I know you have already refused to see a doctor, but surely it would be wise to seek treatment. Some people are even starting to say that your illness is what's... Uh, um, not that I think anything of the sort, of course. See, that's the problem with this sort of monarchy, is that nobody has the guts to stop the errors of the monarch. And so bad things just continue. Are you the Emperor? But if you are here, does that mean those two are... Oh dear, it's all my fault. No, it's not your fault. How should I ever apologize? Don't apologize. Hmm, let's see. How about you start off by making me 100 dumplings? Why? What the f... What? Ha ha ha, just pulling your leg, sweetie. Why? Why are you such an asshole? That voice. You think we'd buy the farm that easy? The Emperor was being controlled by a nasty stomach virus. But we took care of it. Things should get back to normal soon. Now, let's make this royal oath open your cell. Let's see. Oh, thank you. I thought I'd never get out of here, of there. No time for chit-chat, bamboo girl. We freed the Emperor from that monster controlling him. 
but things are still a bit dicey around here. We're gonna hightail it out of this place, I suggest you do too. Now let's see here. Oh yeah. Kuchi kuchi ku. Why are we full size? I can tell you what I can tell what you want to do, Amy. I agree. They'll make it feel like we've set things straight here. I mean, we've already freed that bamboo girl. Now give one of those victory howls to wake up the emperor. This this seems inappropriate.